Du hast mich immer wieder mit demselben Mann erwischt. Natürlich wieder weiß. Ich bin mir nicht ganz sicher, aber du bist irgendwie. Genau. Ja. Der. Lauf mal weg. Also es ist einfach zu kurz vorbei am Gegner. Also du machst, du machst eigentlich gar keinen ganzen Schritt. Du kommst so ran an die Gegner und. Im Prinzip, das ist davon ausgehend, dass ich so eine Hut habe, zum Beispiel, ja. du machst den Schlag hier an mir vorbei, ziehst mich so raus, also warte, du machst den hier an mir vorbei, ja. versuchst mich hier rauszuziehen, und dann ziehst du von unten mal drauf. Genau. Okay. So, im Prinzip. Halber Schritt. Und rüber. Mach das noch mal, so dass es. Der ist. Nennt sich der Sturzhau. Sturzhau. Los, du brauchst, der Gegner muss reagieren darauf. Aha. Wenn der Gegner nicht darauf reagiert, dann ganz schnell stoppen und weg. Aha. Also dann stoppst du im Prinzip in dem und schaust, dass du hinten wegkommst. Wenn ich jetzt... Deswegen der halbe Schritt, dann kann ich nach hinten ja. wieder zurück. Genau, der, der Punkt ist, wenn ich jetzt hier so da stehe, du machst den, und ich reagiere nicht, also ja. du ziehst hier runter, also, ja. du schlägst du mir vorbei, ich reagiere nicht. In dem ja. Moment bist du offen. Genau, also nochmal. Ich komme so, du reagierst nicht. Dann habe ich dich vor. in Bedrohung. Und dann muss ich zurück. Ja. Und wenn du reagierst? Wenn ich reagiere, also gerade im Prinzip, am besten geht der aus dem. Ich schlage so raus. Okay, dann gehe ich unten durch. Oder? Ja. Und Mach das mal. ist einfach ein ganz schneller, gar nicht, gar nicht zum Gegner hin, sondern das ist gar keine helle Bedrohung produzieren, sondern du schlägst direkt an ihm vorbei. Genau. Und wenn du es richtig machst, ziehe ich rüber genau. und dann bleibt Schwert vorbei. Und du triffst dich von der Seite. If you wonder what we are doing, this is the move he used to kick my ass. Again and again. It's, it's, a, my head. it's called a drop strike. Drop strike. And of course I have to practice that now. Looks good if it's rehearsed, doesn't it? Yeah. I wish I were that good without rehearsal. Uh, another one I got you good with. Uh, the enemies like this. I really hate that stance because it's very passive. You don't do anything. You just point the sword at your enemy. It's no good for striking anything, uh, but it's really good for keeping your enemy a distance. Because you have to work around the sword. Whatever you do has to first go around the sword, so it's very difficult to get around, really. So uh, one thing I did a lot was when you did that, I would go like this, draw out any kind of uh, any kind of reaction, and do a snap strike for the hands. God or Plow God. Oh, what? Plow. No, no. This is a Plow God. Plow God. You have it really extended. And if you've got it to the hip, it's basic stance. Basic stance or basic plow. guard. Basic Plow. Yeah. Cool. 
And if you have it really far out, that's called a unicorn. Unicorn. It's basically uh, the end of a star. But you see what just happened, and what was the trick why he got at me, although I should be good at this. You stop. You see that? This parrying thing, I'm not at all used to that. And so he got me. Uh, you just push down, and from here you can do this one, that one, slash and stab him. Whatever see, you like. I'm dead. So this parrying built. I really cross missed guard. cross guard. See, thanks. The cross guard makes a huge difference, especially in close quarters. Unimaginable. It's. I think it's the main difference this makes to uh, most Asian kinds of weapons, which don't have them. It makes the whole difference is that instead of making the block away, making the sword, your enemy sword, go away from the body with a block, you make it go towards the body. You can demonstrate this. In Asian, this would be the block, it goes away, slides down, and I come across. In European, the block looks like this. I step out, he comes down into my cross guard, I'm threatening him. I'm in a very bad position. I now took the initiative from him, which is basically always the aim, to get the initiative. And then, well, he has to act to this, so uh, when we're in this position, he would have to do something. Whatever it is, this is then called winding. When you get, when you have swords in contact, and you just try to get around the other guy. So nice. Basically, this one is a very effective move. Let me have this. Ah. No, it's there. It's much shorter than that. If you're, if you are in blade combat uh, uh, contact, like I struck you, uh, this is actually. No, it also works. It's just, it's very small. Okay. Basically, I don't even need to strike you very hard because once I'm here, I just cut, cut you. Uh -huh. So it doesn't need to be a hard strike. It's just one quick movement. Stop. So let, let me see that movement. So to demonstrate this, if you're the attacker, I block you like this. Say it's not a very good block. You can now snap under. Ah. Okay. Yeah, you can do that, or you can just. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh. I would do a whole round against the arms. It's a very, very fast strike. Not strong, but you don't fast. need to be strong. If you hit the other guy in the hands, it's it's over anyway. It doesn't really matter how hard you hit him. You hit him, it's done. It's done. And with a long sword, even with a short arming sword, which is 30 centimeters, 40 centimeters shorter than this, 
a light blow already cuts through to the bone. So it doesn't really matter if it's hard or soft. The strike, it's going to do the job. Uh, let me check the time. Just 10 minutes. We have still four minutes to go. Okay. Uh, let's show something funny. Okay, funny. This oh. year. <laughs> First time I saw that in a, a fencing manual, I thought, what the fuck are these guys doing? This is crazy. But it makes a lot of sense because you see when you're fighting armor, your sword is useless. You can strike him, it's not going to do anything. It makes your sword blunt and nothing else. Uh, you can stab him. It's probably going to go in this far. It may hurt him, he may feel it, but it's not going to do anything big. Or you can go, try to go for the joints. I mean, good luck trying to strike this gap uh, in a moving target. On who's trying to defend himself, who's defending himself with another sword. So on a battlefield on uneven ground where everything is muddy. Yeah, not very likely. So what they did was, one of the things they did was this, it's called half sorting. And if you really think about it, it makes a lot of sense because this turns your sword into a warhammer. Just try hitting the other guy's helmet. Well, one thing you can do is, if he does this, I've got him already, I strike him with my pommel. It's gonna rattle him a lot because yes. this thing is heavy. And the other thing is if I really hit him on his helmet with my crossbar, this is this could be pointy, not sharp that I would start myself, but pointy enough to puncture through the helmet and into the skull. Very effective. Another thing they would also do in half sorting is this here. So if he attacks me, I displace him. And now, since I have my grip here, I've got a lot more control of my sword. I can stab him into the joints much easier. All the joints here, here, into the visor. It's very easy to do that now. And also, it is of course easy to, easier to manage his blade. If he strikes me in any way, I can stop him like this. I, can, I have much better leverage any time. You basically always do one of these. So it certainly amounts to fighting with a yo, only that you have this cross guard which gives you options you don't have with a yo. Yo is a half long uh, stick from the Japanese. Okay. It's like stick fighting with half long. Only, you must know that European swords were never sharp enough, were never razor sharp. They were, they were uh, sharp enough really. Uh, sharp enough, degrees. but but you could grab them without cutting yourself to, to, to ribbons. Mm, that's only part of the sword, called a ricasso. It's uh, basically just chisel sharp, which means it's sharpened at a 40 degree angle like the rest of the blade, just not all the way. It's still sufficient to cut through anything with a strong blow, but if you slip your hand across it a little bit, it's not going to cut you, it's not going to hurt. Told you he was good. Yeah, I think that's pretty much for the 14 minutes. 